Okay, so what we have here <clears throat> is three different nitric acid concentrations. My air filter, I haven't even put anything in this acid yet. It's all clear, there's no brown gas in my Xiaomi air filter in my living room is already giving me um, readings of, I don't know what the PPM or whatever the number is that are high that say there's something in the air that it's cleaning. So um, we have three concentrations, uh, nitric acid, one mole, four mole, eight mole. I suspect this is the culprit for the gases. Uh, we're also gonna do uh, full strength um, concentration um, after this, but we're starting small um, as we should. This is the one that's gonna be more challenging because I don't have a um, <clears throat> flask or whatever that I can slide an egg in and then cap. Although I don't know that these are gonna really produce any nasty brown gas, but um, I suppose there's only one way to find out. So here's, um, this egg has, or it had, yeah, kind of a, kind of a small crack. So we're gonna use this one for the one mole um, solution. Well, and now it has a bigger crack, I bet. That's going quite a lot already, isn't it? Wow, that's only one molar. That's exciting, huh? Wowza. <coughs> Dang, I know I didn't get my measurements wrong for that. That's um, a 10, 10 mils and 140 mils of water for 50 mils of a one molar solution. So that's pretty promising. Um, the other thing about nitric acid is that it's a very strong oxidizer. I don't know that that has any bearing on what we're doing here because we're not oxidizing the eggshell. Um, let me go check and see that my air filter is not telling me that the air is toxic. Hold on. No, okay, we were good. It's just traffic outside. I have the window open. <clears throat> so that's going pretty nicely. Um, and that's only one mole, you guys. All right, so that's one mole. Um, next to it, to the right in the center here, is four mole. Let's see what that's like. Gosh, why does that look like the molar concentration? Like, why is it, it's that active? Why is it so active in the way that like the five molar or 10 molar hydrochloric acid was? That's very interesting, isn't it? And it makes up a little bit for how boring the sulfuric acid was. Oof, it's already, look at the, the middle one's already giving us quite the bubbling. Um, so yeah, four, <clears throat> four times concentration, four times strength uh, from this, and that one I already thought was pretty active, to this one, which is already doing that foaming latte looking thing. Um, that you know, is so exciting. Um, and thankfully we don't have any like fume, any um, plumes of uh, red or brown gas. Um, we're not doing metals currently, but um, you know, never know. So pretty energetic. Um, I would say we'll leave this and let it go, but we can do all three at the same time, and I would rather do that than 
mess with nitric acid and potential fumes on, you know, three separate occasions. So here is the he, 8 mole. And then obviously need it be said <clears throat> that after we clean these three up, I'm going to use this smallest one to do a, you know, we'll do a full, full concentration thing. Um, that is, was the 68%. So it's, that's like 15.8 or right at like 16 mole solution. So again, again, double this one on the far right. Um, and we'll, uh, we'll leave those go for, a little bit. So we're continuing, and um, <clears throat> what's interesting is that yellowy um, substance, that egg-looking substance. I don't think, I mean, that can't come from the yolk. You look at it and go, what's an eggshell made of? Calcium chloride? Chloride something? I don't know. I'm not a chemist. Um, pretty color, though, isn't it? That's, um... It, it, it's extremely buoyant. It very much does not want to sink. Um, I've tried to use as little as possible of um, the nitric acid, especially in the higher concentration. Number one, just because I don't want to waste any of it. And number two, because I've got to spend all the time neutralizing it. And that just makes it more difficult to, to deal with later. So I'm wondering if it's still hard. Oh no, that <laughs> that's got soft parts. Obviously that's all still hard. That one's got I don't know why. Is this one just maybe not in enough of the acid? Do I need to agitate it some or something? Yeah, you can see it's getting foamier again. I can already tell if I poke it hard enough, it's gonna be um, breaking the breaking the shell. It's already become much thinner. I can already feel parts of this that have that have gotten um, that are naked that have gotten through the uh, the eggshell.
So here's the weird result of our eggs. And they look, I mean, very egg colored, do they not? I'm putting my gloves on now. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what is causing that yellow color. Um, I don't think it's any kind of nitrogen oxide in suspension. Um, calcium nitrate is usually a, a white or colorless crystalline solid. Um, I don't, I don't know. Um, Chat GPT didn't have any advice at least. So uh, we're gonna do the same thing we always do. And let these, uh, I'm gonna dump all of these out. Um, and then we will wash them out and then have a have a look at uh, Ooh. have a look at um, what's actually going on with them. <laughs> I mean, it's completely bright yellow. Why? <laughs> so cool. That 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 yellowness. That yellowness of it all makes me think that it is some kind of something with the um, something specific to like the egg protein that has been I don't know it's very strange so let's rinse all this out neutralize everything and then I want to take a look at the eggs close up so here's the first one and you can see, if it will focus, just there, how the egg is flexing, like, it's still hard. I mean, it's, I'm sorry, it's soft. Um, it's very thin, but it still has a crunchy, hard outer, outer layer. It's not been completely dissolved. It's been a lot more dissolved than the other one molar solutions in fact and this remember this is the one that i said was uh already had kind of a crack in it so it's been mostly dissolved the shell is very thin but it's still um very raw so we're gonna trash that and here's the next one it's it's sitting it's sitting in a bath um, of baking soda and now that membrane is bubbling up because of the baking soda not because it's being not because the eggshell is being neutra out, neutralized but because the acid uh, in that membrane is being neutralized is my guess let's see what's going on here <laughs> the yellowest of eggs Um, it is firm, but soft. <clears throat> um, there's that one little bit that was, you know, floating above the surface of the thing. It feels here still tense and very... Um, raw, but I really don't know what to expect if we were to cut this open. Let's see. That way. There, yeah, we'll do it that way. I want to try to make as little mess as possible. And so that's, again, already four molar. That's a very very yellow, soft boiled egg. That membrane is still there. 
but then some parts of the egg white, although cooked, are still white. It's interesting, isn't it? But the shell, the actual crunchy part of the shell, all gone. Now, our eight molar egg. I just remembered this wasn't the uh, highest concentration I was going to do. I was going to do 16 molar, the concentrated egg. Maybe we'll get around to that eventually. This video is already long enough. Again, completely cooked. That cap, that little bit right here, I believe is just that bubble that's always left on one of the sides if you boil an egg or something but it's like uniformly mustardy turmeric e yellow um the the white is kind of chalky and and cooked but the yolk is like perfectly runny. It doesn't really smell like anything, but let's, um, let's just see what would happen as an indication of just how acidic these eggs are still. Huh. Yeah. So, gross. Um, so there's your, there's your eggs in uh, nitric acid.